The Chet Hamaraglim could be a depressing story on two accounts regarding the Jewish people. First of all, that the nation as a whole was so taken in by the negative reporting of the ten spies. They apparently were looking to hear something like that, and the ten spies understood that, gave them what they wanted, and uh, that is the first depressing point in, the, in this sin. The second is the punishment which, as you know, delayed the arrival of the Jewish people to the land of Israel for 40 years. Following the report and the discussion of the sin and its punishment, the Torah provides us with five parshiot that are meant to lift our spirits. These five parshiot seem to have nothing to do with each other. But each one of them is connected to the idea that the Jewish people are going to be maintained for the generations, the Dorotam or the Dorotechem, and that despite the, the, the stumbling block that came in their way with the Chet Hamaraglim, nevertheless, they are still God's chosen people, they are still going to arrive in Eretz Yisrael, and they are still going to attain their manifest destiny even though it will take longer than they had hoped for. The first is the parsha of the Nesachim, the libations, the end of which uh, explains that the ger, the, the person who joins the Jewish people, when he does join, will be able to bring Nesachim, will be able to bring libations the same as everyone else. And the verse says, V'chiyagurithchem ger, O asher betochachem, lidorotechem. This rule that they will be able to bring the libations forever, that even a ger can bring libations forever, and that they will be gerim forever, is itself an uplifting message to the Jewish people. And Chazal learned, according to Tosos, from this word, the Doral Sechem, that forever the Jewish people will be able to continue receiving uh, gerim, not only when there is smicha from Sinai. The second parsha that's mentioned, also the Dorotechem, is, is Chala. The Pasuk says, Merishita Risotechem, Titnu Ladonai Truma, the Dorotechem. Chala, offerings given to the Kohen from every bread from every loaf that is made, is also something that's going to continue forever, for all generations, which means that there will be kuna for all generations, which means that the, the opening pasuk of that parasha, bevoachem el ha'aretz, when you will enter Eretz Yisrael, as just like the libation uh, parasha begins with kitavo el eretz moshvotechem, you're going to get to Eretz Yisrael, and you're going to be there ultimately the Dorotechem, and don't worry. There's a delay, but you're going to get there, and it's going to continue. The next parashiyot are the parashiyot of sins. What happens when the Jewish people as a whole are in violation of a very serious sin, led by the Sanhedrin, God forbid, even Avodah Zarah, once again, the parasha says, "Et ko asher tziva Adonai lechem biyad Moshe min hayam asher tziva Adonai vahala l'dorot techem." The mitzvah of bringing these korbanot for sins for whatever occasion is the dorot techem. Chet hamaragli may not be the last sin that the Jewish people of the nation commit. There may be sins in the future as well. Nevertheless. There will be karbanot for those sins. And the relationship of God with the Jewish people is once again, even within the context of iniquity, the Dorotechem. The next parasha is the parasha of Mekoshei Shetzim, which according to Rashi is completely out of order in terms of when it, it took place. 
But we know that Mikoshesh Eitzim is an issue of Shabbat. And Shabbat, we are told in Parshat Kitisa, V'shamru v'nei Yisrael ta-Shabbat, v'asot ta-Shabbat dorotam berit olam. Shabbat also is given to the Jewish people for generations. It's meant to be maintained for generations. And therefore, Mechalel Shabbat is held responsible within the context of the generational uh, violation of the Brit, of the covenant between God and the Jewish people, which is for all time. The final Pasha in this Pasha of Shlach is the Pasha of Tzitzit. Dabel b'nei Yisrael v'amata lehem v'yasu lehem tzitzit al kanfei v'gdehem l'dorotam. Tzitzit will be put on your clothing for all generations. And yes, this parasha does make implicit reference to the chet ha-meraglim. V'lo taturu acharei levavchem v'acharei enechem. You shall not follow after the desires of your heart or your eyes what you may want to do rather than what God wants you to do. But we will, have memor- we will have memorials or commemorations on our clothing to remember that we have a relationship with, jo- with God throughout the generation. And as a result, Parshat Tzitzit also reminds us that despite the Chet HaMaraglim and its punishment, the Jewish people are for all generations connected to Hashem. Thank you for listening. Sure.